Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday Wisdom with Jim. Give you a second here for some folks to jump on. I just jumped off the treadmill and I had some thoughts while I was there. I thought I would share with you uh, today. It's uh, it's crazy weather around here. I don't know about where you are, but uh, today here, uh, it's in the low 50s. A couple of days ago, it was in the 80s. And so I decided to jump on the treadmill rather than go outside today. Uh, looks like we're going to have some pretty rough weather for the next day or so. But nonetheless, I just wanted to share a few things with you. Again, it's Jim Hatchell. This is Wednesday Wisdom, and I'm excited to be with you. And today, uh, I want to share a couple of thoughts with you. And most of you, if you know me, know that I am a student of personal growth and personal development, uh, a student of leadership. And I listen to and read from all the great thought leaders, uh, you know, I, Tony Robbins, John Maxwell, Jim Rohn, uh, all of those great individuals who teach great lessons. And those individuals have taught me so much. And the good news is, is that now I have the opportunity to pour out some of that which I have learned with those who are in my uh, circle of friends or in my tribe. And I consider you as part of my tribe, and I, and I appreciate you uh, either listening to me right now live or if you're listening to the recording. But uh, today I thought I would share a couple of things about uh, just from my journal that I think are important. And, and I wrote these down, I don't know when, I've transferred them from one journal to another journal because I think they're so uh, valuable to all of us. But today I want to talk about why, why do we need personal growth. Why do we need to take time to invest in ourselves to become our best versions? You know, statistically, they say that there's only about 3% of the population that actually takes time to invest in themselves, to spend money, to spend time uh, becoming better. Now, I think that statistic has probably increased some over the last few years because it has become so well popularized by so many people out there that are sharing online and doing YouTube and podcasts and all of the things that are out there. But, but for me and for the things that I think are important and the things that have caused me to continue my journey on this road to personal gro growth are, are a few things that I've written down. I'm going to share those with you today. So one of, the, one of the most important things for me, and probably for you and, and others as well, is that when I take the time to invest in myself, when I am doing something that I believe is important in growing myself, whether it's improving my speaking, whether it's improving my knowledge on leadership, uh, whether it's becoming better uh, versed at understanding uh, how people respond or how people react to certain situations. All of those things are important, but, but one of the most important things for me is when I'm involved in personal growth, it helps me get out of my comfort zone. And I can promise you that when you get later in life, or, or like me, who I, I'm 70, it's real easy to, to step back into that comfort zone and relax. But when I know I need to do something, I can always lean on something that one of my past thought leaders have shared with me about getting out of my comfort zone. Because you can't really grow when you're in the comfort zone. You can rest there, but you cannot become better sitting in the comfort zone. So personal growth helps me get out of my comfort zone. That's, the, that's probably the most important thing for me. There are a few more I'll share with you. It, it helps me work on my strengths. Now, um, a lot of people focus on their weaknesses. They say, well, I got to get better at this. I got to get better at that. Well, the truth is, is that, you know, we, we need to be aware of our weaknesses and what those weaknesses are. But what we really need to focus on are the things that we do well. And we need to continue to work on doing those at the level that we know we can. So personal growth has helped me focus on my strengths. One of my strengths I think it is being 
a lifter for other people, to be a motivator for other people, to help others look inside themselves, to help inspire them to do what they need to do. And so I use a lot of different uh, materials, a lot of different books to help me in that part of my journey, to work on and sharpen my saw, as Stephen Covey would say, to become a better uh, listener, a better advisor uh, in, in, in that part of my coaching journey. So it helps me work on my strengths. A third thing that it does, it helps me build confidence. And I know that that that's a struggle for a lot of people. And, and it, it's really about believing in yourself. And I know I've been down that road where I didn't believe anything about myself. And people would say, well, Jim, you're so good. You're so, you know, I just, I just struggled with that. I, I felt like that maybe I fall into that imposter syndrome sometimes where I don't believe that anything that I've done, I've deserved or, but, working through personal growth and personal development and having a coach and numerous mentors who helped me create and develop a belief system in me has been very beneficial on my growth journey. I can tell you that it's through their support and their efforts. So I sit here today and do these live feeds and feel confident and comfortable delivering messages about personal growth and personal develop, development because it's been a journey for me for, for quite some time. And yeah, you know, I've been, I've been going for a long time and, and one day I think I might get to where I need to be. Uh, no, I'll never get there. It's a constant journey. You have to keep working on it every day. So another thing that personal growth helps us with, it helps us become more self-aware. Wow. That is so important. Yeah, I've got lots of blind spots. Uh, we all have blind spots. And thank goodness I have, I have some folks out there that help me recognize and look at my blind spots and help me uh, grow through some of them. And I can tell you that I have blind spots that really do get in my way. And one of them was uh, the way that I dealt with people back in the day. And I had one of my mentors pull me aside one day and say, hey, look, if you don't change, you're never going to go anywhere. In fact, if you don't change, you're going to be backing up. It was a blind spot. It was something that I didn't know about myself. Or if I knew about it, I wasn't willing to share it. I wasn't willing to talk about it or admit it. So it helps me become more aware of myself and who I am. A fifth thing that it does, it does encourage us to sharpen our saw, to do things, to make ourselves better. You know, there's a story about uh, the, the guy who's going out to, I think it was Abraham Lincoln said, you know, if I'm going to go out and cut down a tree and I got five hours, I'm going to spend the first hour sharpening my saw. So I spend a lot of hours sharpening my saw getting better at what I do, uh, listening, reading, writing, uh, asking for advice, getting coaching, all of those things help me sharpen my soul. Last week, I spent three days with the John Maxwell International Maxwell um, Certification Program, where I had the opportunity to work with a lot of new members to the team and helping them on their journey. So I, I'm paying it forward now. Somebody helped me. And so I have been able to sharpen my ax to the point where now I am able to pay it forward. I'm able to add value to others because people added value to me. And that is so, that's another very valuable part of personal growth and personal development because we can add value to others now. We can become significant for somebody else in their journey. So the, the, the last thing is that, that we can develop authenticity. We can be true to ourselves. We can be true to others. You know, we don't have to fake it to make it because when we're taking time to develop ourselves, we're getting better and we truly have the skills necessary to take our leadership, to take our, uh, our uh, teaching, our whatever it is that you're involved in, you are involved in, whatever it is you're 
uh, industry is, you can take that and now you can be uh, the lead in the growth of your team. And it just creates that authenticity so that you are very true to yourself and you don't have to worry about faking it to make it. So as you think about your personal growth journey, uh, hey, throw in the chat or send me a text, uh, you, you know, wherever, message me. Let me know how personal growth has impacted your journey and how it's making a difference for you in this world we call uh, personal growth and personal development. I wish you a, a successful day. I hope that uh, what I've shared with you today has been of value to you. And I look forward to seeing you again next Wednesday. Have a great day.